Yeah, yeah they do. They get, they're get all the they're each other. Yeah.
right now on the bus? Hopefully. Okay. They're, they're taking it, they're doing a shuttle. And then on the 24th, we've got a, we've got a food, it says PA Food Bank Workshop at 10, which is the same yeah. time as our board meeting. Yeah, there's, there's a regional food bank conference that day, and I'm not going to be attending the whole thing, but after our meeting, uh, I'm going to go and try to attend the lunch session. So. And then we have the pool district at um, that same day. I think Commissioner Peach was invited to attend that regional workshop that we all were for. And I said I was going to try to come down over lunch. Okay. So, yeah, there may be several commissioners at that. Okay. So we want to make sure we advertise that in next week's agenda. And that's the food bank workshop? Yes. And then on the 26th, we had uh, K1P at 1, and that was moved from the 19th because of the mariner. So, um, just a reminder, I don't know if we have a yeah. an agenda or. I've got a NOP RCMD meeting that conflicts uh, on that date. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do K1P on the 26th or not. Okay. Usually this time of year, Dr. Ross usually we brought in the road department to talk about summer construction season. So it's probably a good try to do that. Okay, almost always in May, it seems like we're in May. So I don't know if he's been here in a while. That would be, that would be a possible topic. Okay. Uh, I had to make it well, but okay, for a start, something to talk about. Um, I have a list of the interviews for the 23rd beginning at 1 o'clock for the hearing examiner. Oh, great. Um, how would you like me to get this to you? Just Okay. I'll just this one. How many do we have? So, all five? Three, four, five, yes. That looks great. Is one of them by the... Uh, well, one of them was going to be by a conference call, but I think he changed his mind. Oh, did was actually going to be yeah, Richard told me he was going to do a conference call. Yeah. Okay. Nothing else is coming to me off the top of my head. So that's next Monday. Yes. So we need to get that on the calendar as well, because it starts at... Yeah. What's that? Sorry, one, one o'clock. One o'clock on the twenty third. Forty looks like thirty five thirty minutes with fifteen minute break in between. So one one forty five, two thirty, three fifteen and four.
request to pass and adopt resolution appointing an authorized representative of the Sheriff's Office for Disaster Assistance Funding and Administration. Are there, are there 
agencies out there that you would expect to to bid on this? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe possibly even agencies that we currently contract with with Hartford Fund, so we they already meet the insurance requirements. It's not an, not an issue. And I, I guess would this be up to the agency that, that applies how broadly or how narrowly they would implement this? Yes. So. Yes. But we have a we have a list of activities that we would like to see. Um, but at the same time, for example, Port Angeles came in and basically said, well, we really want to focus on elementary age children and their families. So they kind of took what was here and they narrowed it a bit and, and targeted it. So they, they can do that. Um, are are there is your hope that the that the winning the winning bidder would have a broad you know, county wide in schools focus or uh, or a more narrow focus or is that really not the not the not the question? I I would think it would be a more narrow focus uh, since this is kind of a pilot, if you will, since this is not a service we have done before. I would think it should probably be targeted to one school district. Part of it is we'll see what we get, but typically an agency, well, it's hard to say because we haven't done this before, but so we don't know if an agency would say, yeah, we want to work with the school districts all over the county, or if they would really make it just a little bit more directed towards one school district. And remind me where the funding for this it's is from? One tenth of one okay, percent. Okay, this Harpo. It's, okay. it's the Harpo. Um, at one time, OESD asked whether they could apply, but the first two rounds, they really didn't qualify, so they may even come in this time. I don't know. All right. Thank you. Okay. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. Thanks. It's <laughs> also for tomorrow, since it's the third time you've seen it, and we're just trying to reissue, yeah. trying to get somebody to get it out there. Third time will be the child. services to have funding for contractors to provide substance abuse and mental health treatment. Yeah, this is, this is ours too. Um, well, as we all know, our relationship with DBHR in terms of county contracting is no more. So this finishes it up. We had a nine month fiscal year. Um, it's, it's pretty typical. Every winter I would kind of do an analysis of the spending and then if we needed more money, go back and, and all the counties were required to do that. So the counties like ours that typically needed more money could get some of the underspent money from other counties. So that's what this represents. And it's really to enable us to just close the fiscal year out.
application be for? Pretty straightforward. It just uh, gives uh, a lot of dialogue to it. But, uh, basically, it ratifies the behavior of the two force mains on the uh, dungeon and the one on the bridge. And that's a one time thing on the annual uh, it's a, they, they characterize it as a 30 year lease or a 30 year easement with a one time fee. So, 30 years from now, uh, you will probably be here to help me do it. The prosecutor looked it over? The prosecutor looked it over. She had the deputy prosecutor. We had a couple of comments which are incorporated. The one thing that needs to be changed in your draft is the signature block needs to be changed. To Chair's signature. That what I'm asking is that uh, the board next week authorize the chair to sign. Okay. And I'll have the correct page for it. And then I'll stamp on it. Yeah, I'll get that. Okay. That'll be next week. Yep. Anything else to report on that project? Um, While you're still getting organized. Uh, Contractor, I believe, has acquired an office space in Carlsberg now. Uh, in the process of ordering uh, equipment that has long lead times, uh, I think he's looking for a staging yard, but he hasn't found one yet. This mostly that's supposed to be mobile. Is there? Um what would be the best way for community members who want to keep tabs on the progress of the project to do so? Uh, the, uh, we've got a website on the project and the stuff that's on it is out of date but I'm in the process of cleaning that up. Uh, and I think the, the intention is that we, there's a regular uh, construction management uh, software that is kind of guiding everybody's work in this, uh, on this project. And, from time to time, that software will generate a progress report that we can post on that website. Probably weekly or something like that. Great. Okay. Thanks. Anything else coming from the board? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Two of us stop stopping off breakfast at the Boys and Girls Club. Anything else? Any this week or any this week's meeting? Good morning, Denny.